Welcome to the Viking Repair Parts video. My name is Sean Kramer and I will be walking you through step by step for the repair parts of the Viking Model J1 flow control valve. Here are the tools that will be needed for the repair parts. Prior to working on the Model J1 flow control valve, refer to the appropriate technical data sheets for placing the system out of service. We will be covering the replacement of the rubber seat assembly in the J1 flow control valve. The rubber seat assembly is available in the clapper assembly kit and is also available as an individual replacement part. To replace the rubber seat assembly, we will first need to open the union on top of the priming chamber and move the associated trim in order to access the cover. With the cover now disconnected from the trim, we can remove the cover screws from the cover of the valve. With the cover screws removed, we can now remove the cover from the valve using caution as it is under spring tension. The spring will also be removed with the cover. The clapper assembly is not bolted or screwed down into the valve and is assembled as a single part. To remove the clapper assembly, you will need to gently place a flathead screwdriver in between the body and the upper diaphragm. This will allow you to remove the clapper assembly. With the clapper assembly now removed, we can now remove the screws from the existing rubber seat assembly that are securing it to the clapper. With the screws now removed, we can remove the existing rubber seat assembly. We can now install the new rubber seat assembly. Please take notice that the side of the rubber seat assembly with the raised middle is facing towards the bottom of the clapper. With the holes lined up, hand thread in the screws. With the screws reinstalled, they can now be tightened down. With the clapper assembly reassembled, it can now be placed back into the valve. To reinstall the cover in the spring, place a screwdriver through the cover of the valve and place the spring onto the screwdriver. Reinstall the cover of the valve, making sure that the spring is lined up with the center of the cover and the center of the clapper. Line up the holes of the cover with the body of the valve. With the holes lined up, we can now hand thread in the cover bolts. Once the cover bolts are installed, tighten them down. With the cover bolts now tightened down, we can reinstall the plug into the center of the cover of the valve. Once the plug is reinstalled, we can now reinstall the associated trim for the priming line connection by closing the union at the top of the cover of the valve. Tighten down the union on the top of the valve. This concludes the Viking Repair Parts video on replacing the rubber seat assembly in the Viking Model J1 flow control valve. If you need additional information or have additional questions, please visit our website at vikinggroupinc.com or call our toll-free number at 877-384-5464.